Hey everybody, it's OCD Mikey here, and uh, I am going to go over a something with you while I sit here and get a little massage from this chair. Um, and it's about the bullshit of the Watts claim with Hi-Fi, okay? You're never going to get such an uneven spec, meaning non-consistent, across the board than the wattage. How many watts is it per channel? Um, there's a couple things. First of all, the first thing to look for is whether or not people are rating it in 4 ohms or 8 ohms. Pro audio people, like pro audio stuff, they always rate it in 4 ohms. Home audio it's eight ohms, okay? So a lot of times you'll see a company boasting high wattage and then you look and you see, oh, it's in four watts, okay? I mean four ohms rather. Uh, and so you'll get half that if you're going to have an eight ohm speaker, roughly, okay, give or take. Um, so that's the first thing to check is to make sure people are not in the home audio industry boasting four ohm. It's a sign. It's not a good, it's, it's a sign of someone fluffing the numbers. It's stupid really. You know, um, we don't use four ohm ratings, uh, in hi-fi. We underrate and over deliver pro audio over rates and under delivers. Okay. 4 ohm rating is overrating and under delivering because most of us want 8 ohm speakers. We don't want 4 ohm speakers. I don't want 4 ohm speakers. I want 8 ohm speakers. Why? Because you tax the amplifier less. Can you build an amplifier for a 4 ohm load? Absolutely. Why would you? It's much more inefficient. Um, so, nonetheless, People probably have the reasons for doing so. But so for the first thing, I got my shoulder things coming in. Um, so the first thing to realize is the four ohm, eight ohm thing. Uh, you need to just be aware. Are they rating it at four ohms or eight ohms? Now, once you get into, you determine that, the next thing is to realize, okay, if someone just tells you it's 100 watts per channel, that's incomplete information. Okay, it should say, it's, first of all, they should tell you what ohm. It's 100 watts per channel at 8 ohm, or it's 100 per, watts per channel at 4 ohm. That should be right after that spec. And then it should say, what frequency? This, the, the industry standard is one kilohertz tone. That's retarded. Who listens to one kilohertz tone? I don't care if your damn amp can do 100 watts at one kilohertz tone. I'm not going to listen to one kilohertz tone. So I'm not going to be, that, that, that number has no relevance to me being in hi-fi. Freaking one kilohertz, that's retarded. I want to know how much watts is it going to do from 20K to 20,000, or from 20 hertz to 20K. From 20 to 20, give me white noise, okay? White noise is every frequency. Now, that's another uh, 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 situation that is never gonna happen. You're never gonna listen to every frequency at the same time like white noise is, but it's gonna give you how much watts the damn amp is, okay? I wanna know how much it is under max full load brought to its knees. Let's see what this damn amplifier can do. Let's not put it into ideal conditions, one kilohertz tone, and then just max the thing and see what it does at one kilohertz. <laughs> one kilohertz, stupid. I don't use one kilohertz. I listen to music. I don't listen to one kilohertz. I also don't listen to white noise, but I know white noise is going to bring the thing to its knees. White noise will bring an amp to its knees. Let's max the thing out. Let's give it two volts on the input of white noise, and let's see what happens to the output section. Let's see how long we can play it like that, okay? When I have amps built... Okay, under my company name, Veerastar. I have done this on several occasions. I had a six channel amp. When I rated and I told people how much that six channel amp was, I didn't run one channel 
and run one kilohertz and tell them, oh, it's 500 watts a channel. That's stupid. It doesn't do that. What I would do is say, take all six channels, max all six out, white noise, 20 to 20, and then tell me what kind of wattage I got. Well, you got 200, not 500. Okay, now I'm gonna put in my spec, 200 watts at eight ohms, 20 to 20K, all channels driven. When you give that spec your balls, okay? When you give the other industry standard spec, one kilohertz, 400 watts or whatever it is, that's weak as piss, stupid. It means nothing to me, okay? It should mean nothing to you. Go for a company that gives you some real spec, not some fluff spec, okay? As you can tell, it pisses me off. <laughs> but I'm in a chair that will counteract that whole thing that I got going on, right? That's why I'm sitting in the chair, so it can calm me down. <laughs> um, I should have a blood pressure monitor over here. But um, anyways, so look, I want you guys to know what balls, what, man, you, more people that I, almost every single person I talk to says, I want something that has balls that kicks ass. It's like, okay, talk to me. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, tell me about your amp. Tell me what it is. Let's look at the spec. And when I go to the companies that give me four ohms, one kilohertz, I'm just like, whatever. Let me hear eight ohms and let me hear all channels driven, white noise, and that will tell me how really ballsy your amplifier is. Because cheap amps will fold. They'll do 20 watts or something like that. But the bottom line is, understand what spec means. Understand what watts per channel means. If you're seeking the high watts per channel, and that's all you're after, you're a dum-dum, okay? You need to know at what specification you're getting those wattage numbers. If someone tells me their amp does 100 watts with both channel and a stereo amp, with both channels driven from 20 to 20K at eight ohms, 20 to 20 meaning white noise, I'm gonna be, this is a freaking killer amp, okay? If they give me, this amp does 400 watts, at one kilohertz, you know, and four ohms, I'm gonna be like, whatever, you know? I mean, how am I supposed to even know what, 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 what that means in real world? It doesn't mean anything in the real world music listening. You need to know under the worst conditions, under the hardest, it'll never, your amp will never encounter white noise. It, I mean, maybe a blip or something, but it's, it's never gonna be white noise coming out 20 to 20 full frequency of everything that just won't happen okay so you're putting it under unrealistic hardcore conditions to see what it's made of okay to me that is way more integrity way more tough way more cool than to have a spec where people are fluffing the watts and trying to pump them up as much as they can and it's for a, a silly tone, okay? Now, the people that do that, they can fall back on, well, this is the CEA standard, you know, blah, 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 standard number 235.2, but it's like, you know, okay, so you're just gonna give me this industry standard? Or are you gonna tell me real world what this amplifier does? I wanna know what it does. I don't wanna know industry gay standard, you know? It's like, ah. Uh, I'm so frustrated with the industry. It's like, I'm, I'm so over it. <laughs> oh my God, just bull crap from every angle. Um, and so I wanna bring that to light to you guys. The bottom line is I know how to find the good stuff and I know how to make you a better sounding rig than I think anybody else can. Hey, look, if you're serious about this stuff and you're spending over hundred G, you fly somewhere and you listen to builds in actual houses. Let's listen to what they sound like. Let's listen to what this guy is capable of. Let's listen to what this guy is capable of. Some people know how to tune rigs. Other people know how to just pick gear off the list and say, well, put this with that with this. You saw my recent video. It had the whole DCS setup and everything, and it sounded horrible. And that's $250,000 worth of stuff set up like crap. So anyways, you understand what I'm talking about? 
Um, I'm through. That's my spiel on wattage, okay? So know your watts. Don't just take 100 watts per channel to be 100 watts per channel. You need to know 100 per watts per channel under what conditions. What frequency? How many channels driven? If they're giving you ideal conditions, one channel driven, you know, the, the channel that's on the, uh, you know, the other side of the power supply, so it's always going to measure better than the, the one that's next to the power supply. You measure the far one, you know, under ideal conditions, and then give me a one kilohertz tone, tone at four ohms. It's like, <laughs> ay vey. So anyways, come on now. Come on. You need to ask. Let's smarten you guys up, okay? No more just, you know, thinking that the wattage means everything. It does not mean a thing, you know? You can make a ton of watts in ideal conditions, you know? So anyways, that's it. See you. I can't get out of this thing. <laughs>